Hello and welcome back to the Women's Grand Prix. We are absolutely delighted to be joined by His Excellency Sir David Steele, the Governor of Gibraltar. Sir David, thank you so much for being here with us. It's a real pleasure. Yeah. We saw you make the opening ceremonial <laughs> move. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I have been worried ever since because the lady I, I made that move for um, is now in a stronger position but could have been in a weaker position because of my move. Uh, and I've got, I'm going to go and place a bet on her very shortly because <laughs> I think she's coming back strong. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see about that. But it was interesting. I asked you before we started the interview, you made the uh, move E4. For her, we were and chose sometimes the player ask the person what move, but you chose the move for her and she stuck with it. She has, and uh, I'm not sure it was going to be the move she would have made. <laughs> um, but the fact that she's stuck with it and, and worked around it, I just hope, Fiona, that anybody else that visits um, will not impose upon her game in future because she needs to be protected now and looked after. We will after. protect her. <laughs> we will protect her at all costs. Uh, so tell me, tell me, this is your first visit to a chess tournament? It is. I've, I've played chess before but only um, when I was a child and uh, I have been astonished. I have been astonished by the, um, the level of competition um, the seriousness. When I walked into that room, you could have heard a pin drop, mm. and the ladies were all ready to go and 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 play the games. And they're playing uh, one game a day, five hours up to five hours in the afternoon, when they could be on the beach <laughs> and they could be walking out the rock. But the intensity of it, mm. and the fact that I was told that in the mornings they analyse their moves and analyse their opponent's moves to try and understand. It's very, very technical and um, we've all watched The Queen's Gambit and we all know um, that it can be te technical but I didn't really appreciate how technical it was. Well, you've watched uh, The Queen's Gambit. How does your experience today seeing here real tournament, how did it compare to, to the Netflix uh, series? Well, I haven't seen the uh, huge bottles of vodka and, <laughs> and all the sedatives that are required. Yeah, I haven't seen them yet. Um, but it's exactly the same, Fiona. The, the tension, mm. I, I, I repeat, walking into the, uh, the tournament room, the, the tension, you could feel it. This mm. is really serious. And the ladies are playing for not only for prize money, but of uh, self-esteem and esteem within mm -hmm. the chess fraternity. And um, that, that's a big thing to play for. And to be able to do that in Gibraltar, um, and that so many have come so far at the end of the, well, at the end of the pandemic for Gibraltar, um, I think is, is absolutely marvelous and, and a wonderful vote of confidence in Gibraltar. Well, you were just talking about it here in Gibraltar, indeed. Uh, you have done so great with vaccination. There is now only just one active case, I believe, as of yesterday. There were none for a long time. So uh, what does it mean, you know, for life to return to some kind of normality and also to be able to host this tournament yeah. uh, here now? Well, it's, it's marvellous. I mean, Gibraltar has been... Gibraltar had a very bad time um, just at the turn of the year. Um, our, our infection rate w went very high and in a very short period of time we lost 94 people and 94 people in a community that's only 34,000 people everybody knows everybody um, was very dramatic but the rollout of the vaccination program has meant that Gibraltar has become almost well free of COVID and we've had a number of international football matches we've had a boxing match and we had um, the Vatican representatives coming over for uh, an ordination. But this is, bring, this is a new dimension. Bringing an international chess tournament to Gibraltar is a huge vote of confidence in Gibraltar and signifies that things are getting back to yeah. some form of normality again. So um, absolutely magnificent. And of course, we all hope that in January you'll once again be able to host the Gibraltar Festival, one of the biggest and strongest in the world, would you, would you like to come back and see that as well? Have you heard about the tournament? Without question, but only if Anna's playing. <laughs> if Anna's not playing, I won't come back. Then. I, I, don't, I don't know Anna, but I'm watching every move she makes and um, she's got me on tenderhooks. 
thankfully she's playing almost every year, Good. so <laughs> she should she should be here. Um, speaking about chess, you said you've played chess yourself. When did you start playing? How much did you play? What is your own history with chess? Well, I'm a piano a long time ago. We used to play at school, and I remember going on family trips. And you know, you have those little little fold, fold away boards, travel, and sets. travel sets, and I used <laughs> to play against my brother and or my mother and uh, I used to enjoy it but uh, I'm one of these people that needs to get up and move around a lot mm. and uh, so sitting down for five hours but again I've learned today that the players can move around yep. they can take a break they can go and uh, walk out and get a cup of tea and a cup of coffee and these are things I didn't mm. really know so this has been a great adventure for me to come down to the Kletter Hotel and watch um, this going on and now I'm going to go onto the, the FIDA website <laughs> and just make sure that Anna's all right. Um, we'll keep an extremely close eye. In fact since you've walked in uh, let me see I think nothing maybe we can no. pull up her camera actually of Anna Musischuk against Nana uh, Zagnitze so that's and uh, not this camera not this, this is one, Katharina no. Lachno um, so we'll bring up We'll bring up her camera in, in a second. But the position hasn't there changed. There, there she we are. is. There's Anna. <laughs> I made the f first move uh, for, for white. And um, uh, and look, she looks in a good place. She's calm. Uh, her opponent is now frustrated. That move she made with that pawn, that bold move. Um, to to G4, yeah. For to G4. I mean, that really has got uh, Nana thinking, hasn't it? I mean, that Nana, we can see her on the camera. She's very focused. She's in she, deep thought. She is. And uh, Anna had herself, she spent 16 minutes on the move G4, so that was a move that she didn't just, you know, she didn't just blitz it out. Some serious <laughs> thought went into uh, making, because these pawn moves are quite committal once you advance once you, them like that. You can't, you can't you withdraw can't it. You can't here. withdraw it, can you? So I'm very excited. I think the whole thing, I never thought chess could be this exciting, <laughs> but I'm absolutely, I am going to go back uh, to where I live and I'm going to plug into the website and, and look at this. I think it's going to be marvellous. I think for the week, Gibraltar will be absolutely gripped by this. Fantastic. Uh, well, I'm absolutely delighted that you've had a, such a great time here. We will keep a particular eye on Anna Musischuk's game, of course, yeah. throughout uh, the day. Maybe one final question uh, mm. from me to you. You've had such an illustrious uh, career in the Royal Navy. Do you see any parallels between that and chess? Oh, without question. Without question. Uh, when you're at sea and uh, you're in a conflict situation, uh, you are always thinking about what's the next move, what's the move after that, what happens if you have to do this and it doesn't go right, how do you recover from that? Yeah, uh, I mean, without going into great depth, but uh, conflict and warfare and also assistance. Uh, if we're going into a foreign country and providing assistance, what are the problems that are going to face you? and how do you deal with them and I suspect these ladies today are all thinking about that they're mm -hmm. thinking about not just one two three moves ahead what happens if is always at the back of any military mm -hmm. strategist's mind so chess and being in the Royal Navy or in the armed forces um, is one and the same thing very interesting well thank you uh, so very much for your time for your thoughts it's been an absolute uh, pleasure having you here and I hope we'll be able, able to welcome you in the future maybe play a game maybe we can <laughs> not against Anna I mean she, <laughs> not she, against Anna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, thank you very uh, your much your excellency indeed. thank you so much for your time and we will be back with Nigel in just a uh, second thank Th you very much Anna, thank you